have a flooded market. Record sales are going down. We're artists. The, the government doesn't cover our assets. Today, the business is much more open about how it screws people. They're your friends and they smile and support you and say everything's great and stuff, but they really have ulterior motives. My dad's been telling me that from day one. Get a lawyer! <laughs> it's the labels you have to realize. You're nothing but a commodity. And you get signed, you jump on this other ladder, and then you're exactly at the bottom rung again. Getting signed sometimes is the death of a band. As if being signed means anything. Any band that actually does make it, cheers to you because it's a never ending process. <laughs> Save up money and spend 30 grand, 40 grand on a car, that's nice, that's cool. I spent it on a CD. You know what you're getting into when you date a guy in a serious band. Basically, you better get ready to not see the person that much. I don't think many people with kids could even do this. I work for until 5 o'clock, then I come home and I'm working for the band. You're on tour so much, you just give up like your life as you know it. It's funny to watch some of these uh, TV shows where people are complaining about like doing a couple weeks in an RV and then here we are, you know, six guys in a van. People go into the business now almost knowing that they're going to get screwed by it and they go in anyway.